Hi everybody, welcome to the Tapping Companion. Today we are going to be uh, tapping to release the stress that is accompanied with all the uncertainty that is going around around us, going on around us. So let me just uh, talk a little bit about that and then we'll check in and start the tapping process. So um, the question is, is this uncertainty that we find around us now like, uh, appearing just now or has it always been there, right? Because we didn't feel this um, much of stress before, but uncertainty has always been around. Uh, there are times when we felt uncertain in our lives, if you look back, except now we are we are seeing a, a, the uncertainty face to face and on a um, global level. It's just um, everywhere and it's becoming overwhelming for our nervous system. So let's talk about what is this? Like, why am I feeling stressed when uh, so many things are happening and how can I manage the stress? I think uh, you and I are on the same page in one aspect to understand that certain uncertainties are not in our control. It's happening and what's happening on the outside is causing something within us and that something that's caused within us is what we can have some hold on. So tapping is help, uh, helping us in that area. The human mind is uh, made in such a way that we want predictability, right? We want this, 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 and our life, the matrix in which we live has somehow made that predictability. That's why we have, you know, this is this age we do this, after this we do this. And when that does not happen is when the stress sets in because of the uncertainty. Now then what? I don't know. And the anxiety sets in especially for us, uh, for the, um, the people who already have anxiety, the one thing is not knowing what's happening is making it a lot worse. So let's acknowledge that first through in our tapping sessions, the way we are feeling right now. It's so easy to um, say calm down or there's nothing to be stressed and that's not even true because the environment around is sending me different signals. So this is including children uh, and the stress that we face is somehow passed on. You know, we don't have to use words. It's just passed on in our energy, in when you touch your child, when you uh, are in the presence of the child, the energy is getting uh, into the child. And that's why the stress is there. And especially children are looking for self-regulation to us because their cognitive abilities are not yet there for them to self-regulate and when we are out of control they don't know where to go so especially if you're a parent it's important for you to find out a way that you can calm your nervous system ir irrespective of what is happening around you it's not easy i know it i understand i am here with you but we've got to get something that works for us when we are in those stressful times so the nervous system is asking us some questions and what are they are we safe and your children are asking you these questions too right when they are very stressed are we safe are we taken care of and are we safe enough to trust that some power that is bigger than us is going to be there for us, right? All this is what is happening when uh, things are very uncertain. There, um, so today we are going to tap into this energy that we have, acknowledging what is happening. So in my first round, I'll be acknowledging what's happening. If it's something that's different that's happening for you, please substitute it with whatever is happening for you. Then only it will be effective. So let's begin, sit comfortably and check into this feeling that I just described. I mean, I don't have to repeat what is the uncertainty around, but there may be a one area in your life that is uncertain for you at this point in time. Maybe a particular incident, specific, whatever it is, pick it. The more specific, the more better uh, it is to tap with. 
so close your eyes and get connected to this situation your life situation what's happening what is it that's sending your amygdala going bonkers like it's saying i don't know what to do what is it that's just not helping you keep your nervous system calm so tap into that and check in with your body notice in your body be very honest with yourself and try to rate this feeling on a scale from 0 to 10 0 being the least which you wouldn't be here if it was but 10 being the most so be honest with yourself and rate what you think is right for you i'll just give you a second to do this Now take a deep breath in and breathe out through your mouth. You can keep your eyes uh, closed if you want if you know the points if not you can open your eyes to see the tapping. But we're going to start with the karate chop point. Start tapping and like always <clears throat> repeat after me. Even though I feel so stressed with everything that's happening around me. I honor how I feel and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though all this constant change around me is overwhelming me i honor how i feel and i deeply and completely love and accept myself even though i feel very insecure when there is no predictability around me i accept how i feel and i give myself permission to relax now let's go to the points start with the eyebrow point there are so many unknowns and this makes me worry side of the eye what if things don't go my way under the eye all the stress and worry i feel like if i don't stress then i'm not taking care of things i've learned somewhere that for me to take care of things i need to worry all these uncertainties they keep me on an edge My amygdala is on an edge all the time. It's active. It's getting multiple signals of danger from all around. Under the lips. Part of me feels like I can trust life. Collarbone, but a part of me says Don't be crazy. Look what happens. Look what's happening around you. It doesn't make me feel safe. Under the arm, but I am open to letting the stress out and seeing how it really feels. Maybe I am not taking care of things by worrying. Maybe I am actually making it worse for myself. there are always going to be uncertain things around me i think this is the truth and the reality uh go back to your eyebrow point and as you tap here just feel where in your body do you feel this uncertainty just feel and don't say anything you can actually close your eyes now at this point and feel where is it in your body 
keep breathing tapping and noticing you don't have to find something just be open to notice now come to the side of the eye feeling grounded in your body just notice the sensation that arises when you think of the set stressful or uncertain event in your life or uncertainty in your life whatever it may be for you feel that sensation and sit with it it may be a tightness in your chest it may be a clenching of your teeth it may be a drawing up of your shoulders it may be pressure in your heart there may be something that's going on in your life right now that's not helping your nervous system stay calm under the eyes try breathing easy very easy just let go of that pressure that you are holding on on your chest area and release that muscle and breathe easy and know that everything is going to be okay inside you come under your nose now as you say this notice does a voice come up in your head which is kind of holding you in resistance saying don't 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 think everything is okay just notice that resistance under the lips notice this voice telling you only if you are tight are you in control otherwise you're just out of control and you you don't know what's happening you have to be tight notice that voice that's telling you that collarbone now as you tap on your collarbone just be aware of your breath going in and out and notice that relaxation in your body notice how you feel relaxed and just trust that everything is going to be okay under the arm even though there are things around me that are not okay i am going to be okay on top of the head feel how this feeling of trust feels for you in your body does it feel like a release i'm okay if you want to say that out loud say it i'm okay and see how that trust feels for you in your body and notice any resistance come to your upper eyebrow point and notice that distance that is coming in between you and your worry between you and your uncertainties and notice what this distance feels like for you just notice side of the eye now we're going to start saying some statements to ourselves so you can repeat after me I can trust life. I know worry does not make me feel better. Under the eyes, as I relax, I start to feel better. See that is it true for yourself? Feel it. Under the nose, everything is just as it should be everything is just as it should be notice what's happening what's that conversation within you under your lips i can handle this 
I got this. Collarbone. I can relax my body and stay in this relaxed body even if things around me are going crazy. Under the arm, I trust life to be there for me. On top of the head, I can trust myself to handle this. Come to your uh, <clears throat> collarbone, collarbone, both sides, keep tapping. All is well. All is well. All is well. Now stop tapping gradually. Stop tapping gradually. And leave both your hands on your heart. And just breathe. Notice your easy breath. Notice your calm nervous system. Notice your relaxed body. Hold your heart like you're holding a baby. Don't press it and don't squeeze it, but just gently like you're holding a baby. And feel the calmness in your body like you're being hugged. Just watch your breath going in and out in ease. And this is the place you're going to be when those things around you get crazy. You're going to take a moment, a pause, a powerful pause and come into this state of security that is within you and is available to you at any point in time. So you're going to reach out for this secure space within yourself every time things around you are uncertain. Bring your um, hands, both your hands to your elbows like this and just stay here like you're hugging yourself. Just stay here like you're hugging yourself and you can even do this when you feel very overwhelmed, <clears throat> overwhelmed with uncertainty. Just hold yourself, hug yourself, be there for you, be there for you. That's all our body is asking us to be there, to be there for you. And you can deal with any uncertainty that may arise. All you need is you and this practice is helping you do that. So take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, release your hands, lay them on your lap and check in. See what does that feel like within you now, that uncertainty that you felt in the beginning. What would you rate it now on a scale of 0 to 10? This is just for your own information. And if the tapping has brought it less than a 3, then that's great. And if it hasn't, repeat the tapping again. And that's all we are going to do. Tap our way out of this stress that's coming from uncertainty. Now, we didn't take a drink of water in the beginning, but let's take a drink of water now to settle down our energies. Watch the water go through your throat. Feel it. As you swallow, be aware of it. 
and this is something you can do when you feel very overwhelmed with uncertainties get a cool glass of water and take a sip and watch its journey through till your stomach and until we meet again next week with another topic until then keep tapping it's right here all you need to do is come back and come here and take a pause that's it so see you guys bye